album from Premier de Mar in Barcelona. So after I landed in Barcelona, I uh, got picked up as you saw in the previous video. Uh, I had a little bit of a rest and uh, now I've come out to check out Premier de Mar tonight and then tomorrow I'm going to go to the centre of Barcelona and uh, check out Barcelona properly. <clears throat> So I'm just taking a little bit of a walk uh, along the the front here and it's really nice. So down there is the underpass to get to this uh, front here. So you can go into Barcelona using the train. Um, I believe you can get like uh, so many trips for, I think it's over 23 euros. Uh, but check out this view here. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, they're doing a bit of a clean-up operation with the BG2 from what I'm seeing so far. You've got some boats right down there too. And uh, I'm going to show you a bit of Pimi de Mar later. So this is where you'll get the train here. <sighs> so I'm going to take a bit of a walk. Go down up the front there and uh, get a nicer view of showing you some of uh, Barcelona. It is really calm here and it's just gone after quarter to seven here in the evening. If you're looking for somewhere really quiet then this is the spot. You've got the full moon on the left here. The view of the sea and the beautiful sunset and if I zoom in here is the view of Barcelona absolutely stunning I'll go a bit further down here to see if I can get a closer view of Barcelona and then uh, I'll head back and then uh, explore, explore more of uh, Prima de Mar it is so cool here and uh, where I'm staying is inexpensive compared to staying in the city centre of Barcelona. My hosts were telling me too that you can get um, a bus which comes every hour from the city centre to Primi de Mar which is cool. I'm in the centre of Premier de Mar and I'm just going to show you guys on this area. Uh, you've got a supermercado right there if you need to get any snacks. You've got a few shops along here and further down the bottom there's some uh, restaurants. Uh, that could be an option for you if you're staying at Premier de Mar. So there's quite a selection and it's not too far from the front either which is pretty good. So on the left hand side down this street here, there's uh, a couple of places where you can uh, eat at. Uh, there's a 
shop where you can buy all your fruits if you want to get your vitamins. Uh, you've got a bar cafeteria along that side there another shop where you can buy fruits and vegetables uh, you've got a clothing stall on here <laughs> and uh, check out the artwork on this wall here that is quite something isn't it Uh, you got a baker on the left, so all in, all on these tables here and chill out and uh, check out these trees here on this uh, area. So when you come to Primi de Mar, this is what you're going to be expecting when you come here. So you got another supermarket on the left. Uh, you got a shop down the left side too. So it's quite a lot of uh, shops in the area and uh, if you want to book a tour I think there's a shop there where you can book a tour if you need to book a tour so it's quite a big area so we'll keep going until we get to the end of this uh, road here then uh, we'll go and get something to eat. Uh, if you ever need a pharmacy, there's one on the right hand side here. And another supermarket again. So there's a lot of places where you can buy food. So if you're staying in the area for a long period of time and uh, renting somewhere in this area, then you've got a, a few supermarkets there for you. Again, all these shops along here. So you got a bar on the right hand side here. Very quiet place. Uh, I'm not too sure to do food in there. Uh, check out the streets here. And if you're staying around this area, you got another uh, convenience store on the right there. So you got this restaurant on the left here called Frankfurt. Uh, I couldn't literally in the name, but this is one of the places where you can eat at. Uh, but I think it's closed. I'm not entirely sure there, but it looks to be closed anyway. Uh, there's some more places further down too. It's very quiet here and this is just after 20 to 8 in the evening uh, so uh, there's a few places here so if you're into your donor meat uh, you've got a place where you can have donor meat uh, there's a bar restaurant on the left there uh, you've got a pharmacy along this side here too uh, you've got another Cafeteria on the left there. <laughs> and in a minute, this will bring you out onto the main road here of uh, Pemidima. So, a few side streets there. 
really quiet along here. Uh, another supermercado on the left there, and uh, you've got a look up. You've got a bakery too, selling all your breads, etc. And that's the underpass to get to the other side of this, of this road here. And you've got a bakery shop there too. So that's the, the station there. Uh, further down, you've got. You've got an Indian restaurant. So for tonight's dinner, I've got like a, a bit like a donna kebab, but it's in like a, some sort of pita bread here, I would say. So all your lettuces, chicken, garnet mayonnaise, a bit of chilli there, some fries. Let's try the chips, first of all. The fries are really good, so we're going to try this um, chicken kebab, in like uh, some sort of bread, and it really cost me six euros and uh, fifty. It looks like that here. Oh, that is lovely. Man out of time. That is really good, guys. I'll show you the place once I've finished here. It is so lovely. <laughs> so, this is the place called uh, Donama. I at here. Very good food, guys. Recommend it. They've got a menu outside there, too. And it's just located near to the main road here of uh, Primidima. Rate that food, 9 out of 10, as I just said in there. 6 euros 50. Can't complain. Really good food. Wasn't too busy as well, which I liked. So I'm now going to call that a night. And uh, take a rest and get ready for... Tomorrow where we'll explore this uh, city of uh, Barcelona properly. So that concludes a little tour of uh, Primi Dima in uh, Barcelona. Uh, I had some really nice food. We checked out the front of the beach there with the stunning sunset views of Barcelona. And uh, it is very ni nice here. And uh, even the beach looks clean as well. And the dudes have worked on the front there. So I'm sure it'll be amazing when it's completed. Uh, so tomorrow's plan, we're going to check out Barcelona properly and uh, we're going to check out the nightlife tomorrow night, I think. I'm just very tired today because I had to go 3am for my flight going to Barcelona from Leeds Buffett Airport, so I'm feeling a bit tired. It's, it's a long day when you wake up so early in the morning, but we want to go to good, good places around the world. You have to get up at certain times, sometimes for those early morning flights to those cool destinations. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this little tour of Pemidian Ma. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and uh, hope to see you guys in the next one.